Hi everyone, welcome to back to my course. So today we'll have a quick introduction to jQuery and also how to get an initial setup on our project. So as I said in last video is that we want to write less code using JavaScript. So jQuery is a library, which is a JavaScript library, uh, which help us to do a lot more and writing less using JavaScript. So to know to write jQuery, you must be familiar with HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, a little bit, not too much, a little bit knowledge will help you to get started. Um, and what jQuery library contain? It's how many features like HTML DOM manipulation. What that means is that, for example, you can get HTML documents and text or something and change it. You can change images, you can add new text, you can add new images, you can remove HTML elements, you can remove images. So you can manipulate your HTML, whatever you want. Also, you can do CSS manipulation. So for example, let's say in CSS, we had this one background is white, but you can go to jQuery and get this one and give it a background of red. Okay, so you can change CSS as well. Also, you can have some events method like input fees, you want to write your name or something in a form, all that manipulation does for you. Um, and if you want to do animations, I don't know, you want some nice animation, something moving from here, some loader spinning or anything, you can also do with jQuery. And also Ajax. So Ajax, basically, if you have an API call, so to a backend system, so you can use uh, jQuery Ajax for, uh, for that and much more than that, okay? So let's get in our setup. So what we can do is we can download the jQuery from the website. You can download the file or you can use uh, a CDN. So if you don't want the file, you'll copy and paste the file in your folder, then you import it using the script tag again, source, and as we import our JavaScript file, you'll import your jQuery. Just make sure the jQuery file is imported much before your script file, okay? Otherwise, when you go to script file and write jQuery code, it will not work. For me, what I will do, quick one, I don't want to download it on my machine, I'll just use the CDN before my script file for my personal JavaScript file and I will paste my CDN. Okay, I'll just close this so we have more space and we can see it here. See here? So it's before my app.js. Okay, now this is the syntax of jQuery. So jQuery basically use a dollar sign and then open and close on the brackets and you put your selector. Remember as we had selectors in CSS, they are exactly the same selectors, okay? You can use the, uh, the tag names, for example, if you have a paragraph, you use a P. You can use a class, for example, this class is test, you can do dot test. And if the elements have an ID and you want to use the ID, you just do hash and the ID name. So easy peasy, same as your CSS selectors, you just use JavaScript and jQuery. Only difference is here in jQuery, you have one additional one, which is this. Um, so this will have different use. I think later if you need it, we'll go in depth about that. Otherwise, it'll be later in the crash course in jQuery. Okay. And then what you do inside your JS file in here, before you write any code, you have to do this document.ready. So basically what you're saying, don't run my JavaScript f uh, code or my jQuery code until my document is loaded and it's ready, okay? Otherwise, you might have some issues. For example, let's say if I want to get this title and, I don't know, change its color to green, okay? But using my jQuery. If I do that before my document is loaded, it will not find that element. And even to not throw an error for you, it will just not work. And then they will say, oh, what happened? And you'll take forever to find the <laughs> source issue. So make sure always you have your document ready. So dollar sign, that's how you start jQuery, and write document, out, and this one have ready function, okay? And inside I will execute this function. So all my code will go here. Okay, let's say cancel log. Again, my first log. If I go back, there we go, it's coming. Okay, let's say I want, I don't know, I don't, I want to get this element. Okay, I'll say, 
or say cancel log actually cancel log again dollar sign and I have to put my selector what I did okay cancel log and I'll say dollar sign and I'll see if this one have a class or ID no it doesn't so I'll just say uh, h1 okay I'll go back to my console tab and you see here it find one h1 for me okay and if I hover on it see it take me there I'll go back to my console I hover it show me which element is it if I click it takes me there okay good so now in next chapter we'll go back to our menu and we'll try to finish it up and make it responsive as so again I want to be able to click open using javascript slash jquery okay so stay tuned hit the notification button and subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I push my next video